So at 28 weeks uh, in the middle of the night, I woke up and um, basically knew something was wrong. On the evening of December 8th, started to um, show signs of labor. And because of the situation, it was a whirlwind and moved so fast. I mean, the amount of nurses and doctors and specialists that were in and out of our room. Each boy had a respiratory therapist, had their own NICU doctor, had their own nurses, not to mention the specialists that were there to take care of me uh, through the surgery as well. I quickly went from, you know, caring for Karina, which I had done, you know, our whole relationship <clears throat> as best I could, to now there's like three people to take care of and there's these two small children that, yeah, have four to five people around their bed, um, checking them for everything. So they told us to basically prepare, to not expect that the boys would come home any earlier than um, their initial due date, which was 78 days. I mean, we were there through Christmas and then uh, Valentine's Day, and there was just kind of um, little celebrations there that gave us some glimpses of like, okay, we're a family of four now, and um, we can have holidays. And the staff you know, were incredible too. You know, our, our primary nurses, um, I've mentioned Heidi, but Julie and Aaron and Anita uh, were our other three that we kind of built this community with. It was really hard to say goodbye to these people who had done an incredible job taking care of Jack and Liam, uh, but also instilled so much confidence in us that we could do it at home. The biggest compliment we get from uh, our current pediatrician or anybody else that we've seen that knows their medical history says, man, you would never guess they were premature and went through such a journey. We have a tradition that whenever we drive by the hospital, we have to wave to the babies in the NICU um, because uh, it's our way of kind of saying a little prayer and remembering where Jack and Liam's journey started. Jack's superpower is that he is super empathetic, and Liam's superpower is that he is a good friend.